Okay, let's find the integration of x times e to the power of x. Okay, so always, you know, when you are trying to integrate, try substitution first. Right? You can let x equal to u. If you differentiate that, you won't get x. So substitution does not work out here. Next thing you should ask, it's a, it's a multiplication. Does it help if you can separate the x and e to the power of x? Yes, it does help in terms of being able to integrate it. So that tells us we should do it by integration by parts. Okay, we have to pick our u and dv. So u, I'm going to pick it to be x because when you differentiate x, it becomes something simpler. Right? The u becomes dx. Right? Picking dv to be e to the power of x is also nice because integrating that is a simple integration and it doesn't get more complicated. Right? It just stays the same, e to the power of x. Now, this whole thing will equal to u times v, so x times e to the power of x, subtract by dx times e to the power of x, so e to the power of x dx, which is very easy to integrate, e to the power of x plus constant.